Are you wasting your money on fashion? Well, let's find out. Sometimes it's worth spending extra on certain items in your wardrobe, but other times it's just a waste of money. You may as well be just flushing your hard-earned cash straight down the toilet. All of this will make a lot more sense as we get into the video, and if you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's save you some money. So let's start off with the nylon coach jacket first, and it has to be nylon. I'm not talking about wool or cotton coach jackets here, it has to be nylon. I just wanted to make that clear. I don't think there's ever been a time where I've come across an expensive nylon coach jacket and thought to myself, oh, okay, I can see why this is so expensive. They always look the same and they always feel the same, so a £30 coach jacket feels and looks exactly the same as a £200 coach jacket. The only thing you're paying for in the £200 jacket is the branding. Like, have a look at this one from Celine. Now, this one costs £1,200, which is a criminal amount for a nylon coach jacket. For that kind of money, I'd expect the jacket to come with its own personal finance coach to help me stop spending that kind of money on nylon coach jackets in the future. Now, I do love the brand Celine, but you're purely paying for the name here. And if that's all you care about, then fine, go ahead and buy the jacket. But I'd recommend you save your money and put it towards something else or a cheaper coach jacket. You can pick up these jackets from vintage stores for about 20 quid and they look and feel exactly the same. You should also stop spending so much money on the next item if you are, of course, and it's a baseball cap. So how much is a reasonable price for a baseball cap? 20 quid? 30 quid? 40 quid? I don't know, you tell me. For me, when the prices go above 60 to 70 pounds, my knees get weak, my palms get a bit sweaty, and I start to feel a bit nervous. Would I ever spend more than 60 or 70 pounds on a cap though? Yes, I would, but I wouldn't recommend you do it. It would also have to be something a little bit special because that's a lot of money for a regular baseball cap. I find a lot of the time though, with these luxury brands, they put out regular baseball caps and charge an absolute fortune for them. A lot of the time, the fit and the quality is no different to a 20 pound cap, and I think you're better off saving your money. Of course, like anything, there's always exceptions, but I hope you get what I mean on this. The other thing that stops me spending a lot of money on a cap is that I tend to go off them after a while. And let me know if this happens for you too, but this only really happens with hats for me. But I'll find a cap that I absolutely love and I'll wear it all the time. I won't like my outfits when I'm not wearing that cap, but suddenly overnight, I'll just go off that cap completely. It might not actually be overnight, but it happens quickly. And further down the road, when I look at pictures of myself in that cap, I think to myself, what was I thinking? And what did I see that was so good there? And I don't mean I just sit there flicking through old pictures of myself in the cap and long for the times that we spent together. That's not what I mean. Anyway, the next item that you shouldn't be wasting your money on is a t-shirt. Now, the older I get, the less money I want to spend on basic t-shirts, especially white t-shirts. Every white t-shirt I get ends up stained not long after getting it. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's because I'm getting older and I'm getting more clumsy. I I don't know, but I can't keep them clean. I'm even a little bit nervous to wear them these days because I'm just waiting for something to spill down the front of it. Even if I'm not eating spaghetti bolognese in my white t-shirt, somehow some will get down the front of it. And if not, then maybe someone's sick down it. I don't know. <laughs> even though I love a white t-shirt, there's plenty of white t-shirts that I absolutely love out there that do cost a little bit more, but I'm just not buying them because they're so easy to ruin. But people who spend over about 25 to 30 pounds on a white t-shirt, are absolute daredevils in my opinion, and you should be wary of them. You should also be wary of the next lot who waste their money on buying their kids designer clothing. I think this one is the biggest waste of money out of everything on this list, and it annoys me the most as well. The kids have no idea what's going on most of the time, and the parents are just using their children to flex. Personally, I think it looks tacky when parents dress their kids in designer clothing, and I feel a little bit sorry for the kid. But what do you think about this one? I'd be interested to hear your take on it. And also, kids grow up so far that by the time you've got their clothing back from the shop, they've probably grown out of it and you're gonna have to buy more. What I wore when I was younger was Postman Pat jumpers, Sonic the Hedgehog and Ninja Turtle stuff, and some Fireman Gam, <laughs> Fireman Gam, <laughs> Fireman Sam gear, and I loved it. I remember crying my eyes out when I grew out of my Postman Pat jumper, and that was only last week. So get your kids something with their favorite cartoon character on the front or their favorite game. I don't know, something that means something to them because they're gonna like it a lot more and stop dressing them in Prada and Gucci just so you can flex. Anyway, enough about that one. Let's slide into the next one. And it slides. 
See what I did there? No? Okay. I think everyone knows about this one already, but rubber slides are rubber slides, especially in this style. They all pretty much look the same, so if you're spending £350 on some Bottega slides, then I don't know what to say to you. And quite honestly, I don't know what to say to the next person either, who's spending an absolute fortune on a canvas tote bag. What are you doing? Now, most canvas tote bags look exactly the same, but the price can vary massively depending on what name is printed on the front of it. Like, look at this Jill Sander bag, £680 for a canvas tote bag. It's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. Now you can get something really similar with leather handles for about, I don't know, 30 or 40 pounds, maybe even cheaper. It might not have Jill Sander on the side, but it's going to give off the same kind of look and do the exact same job. Now don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against spending a lot of money on a nice bag, but a canvas tote bag, I just think that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Massively too much. For me personally, I don't think I'd spend any more than about 60 pounds on a tote bag and then it would have to be something really nice. But any more than that, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Not like this next one, that does make sense. I do get it, but I don't think it's a good idea. And it's all about dupes. Is it dupes or dupes? Uh, you'll get the idea in a second anyway. Now, I've said it on the channel before and I will say it again, but if you love an item of clothing, like you really love an item of clothing, but you can't afford it right now, then don't waste your money on cheaper alternatives that you don't like as much. The cheaper alternative will act as a constant reminder of the thing that you loved but didn't get and you won't want to wear it after a while. Every time I've done this in the past, I've tried to save myself money by buying a cheaper alternative and in the end, I've just ended up buying the item that I loved in the first place, so I've wasted all my money on cheaper alternatives, and I would have been better off just buying the expensive money, the expensive money, the expensive item in the first place. And if you can't afford the item that you love right now, then just save up for it. Save your money that you would have spent on cheaper alternatives and just put it to one side. And when you do finally get that item, it's going to feel even more special because you've saved up hard for it. But what doesn't feel special is when you buy into trends that you don't really like just to fit in. If you don't like something, don't wear it. Don't just wear it to try and fit in. Wear something that you actually enjoy wearing. Now, this might be a really bad analogy, but I'm going to say it anyway. But you don't go into a restaurant and then ask the waiter what meal is trending at the moment. And then the waiter tells you that meal that's trending and it's something that you don't like at all, but you order it anyway because everyone else is eating it. Hopefully, you're not going up to the waiter in the first place and asking them what's trending. Hopefully, you're looking at the menu and deciding for yourself what you like the look of. And it should be the same with clothes. Clothing. Chasing trends is the easiest and fastest way to waste your money out of everything else we've talked about in this video. There's nothing wrong with wearing trends that you actually love, but if you don't love them, then don't wear them. If you love a trend and you want to wear a trend, but you don't think it will suit you, then that's a different thing entirely, and that's for another video. But let me know what you'd add to this list, because I'm sure there's something I've forgotten. But if you like this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone, see you later!